right guys, this is it. East Got Aggression's first YouTube video. Let's do it. from the title of this video this is a meet me and my three horses style video so firstly we're going to meet the horses secondly you're going to meet me and I'm going to answer the questions you guys ask me on my Instagram and thirdly we're going to take one of the horses out for a walk in hand so grab a drink get a snack get comfy and let's meet the horses so this is Molly she is 21 years old and around 15 hands she's a Welsh D cross cop we've had her for seven nearly eight years now when we first got her we just did a little bit of the low level stuff going to local shows learning to ride I guess coming straight out of pony club and then over the years we've done dressage competitions a bit of combined training cross country clinics all sorts going to the beach swimming now she's taking a bit of a back step and chilling in the field with the fold. Had her back shoes off but in January she's having them pop back on and we will be back to riding and hopefully competing again next year. So this is Anushka, my five and a half year old 14 hand Connemara cross cob. I bought her in August 2020 as a just turned four year old hoping that she would be a little project pony that I could sell on. We then found out she was pregnant and she had her foal and is now just coming back into work. So you'll meet her foal next and yeah, I'm just hoping that she'll turn into a really cool little eventer or a child's pony one day. We'll have to wait and see, hey? <laughs> this is April. If you can't tell, she is indeed Anushka's foal. So she's about 12 2 at the minute and about 13 13 two on her bum she is quite bum high she's around eight months old now she was born in april hence the name full name is april's diamond surprise she is a connemara cross cob cross irish sports horse cross appaloosa so quite a big mix she's been doing just kind of some in-hand stuff desensitization just little bits that you would with a foal been a massive learning curve because i've never ever ever had one or worked with one before so we've just kind of been figuring it out as we go Okay, so now you've met the horses, it's time to talk a little bit about me. You guys asked me some questions on Instagram, so I'm going to answer those and anything else I think you guys might want to know. So firstly, I just wanted to say hello, how are you? My name is Ellie and I'm 19 years old for those of you that don't know. So my question number one is, what's my favourite thing about each of the girls? Okay, so horse number one is obviously going to be Molly. And I think my favourite thing about her is definitely her personality. She has a billion of them, and I mean a billion. If you know her, you know what I mean. She is never the same, never in the same mood, never the same with each person. She really is a people person. She likes to pick her people and the way she is around them and me and her get on so well and I think that's one of my favourite things about her. She's always picked me as her person, her main person, the one she always goes back to, no matter how many others we bring into her life. She trusts like no other horse and once she's got that connection with you, it's stuck for life. But it does take a long time to get that with her and I think that's one of my favourite things is you really have to work to build a relationship with her and I love that about her. So while we're here with the Muddy Beast, let's talk about my favourite thing about Anushka. She is just the kindest horse I've ever met. So when she was giving birth to April, she let me go in there with her, tie up the placenta, get the sack off of April's face, untie it from her legs when she was a little bit stuck in there. She let me go in a few hours after she was born she always let me help with her and ever since day dot she's always been the best mum really kind towards April when she then went out with Molly and April she was honestly just the sweetest to Molly about being around her baby when we weaned her even when she was as stressed as she possibly could have been she was still so kind and I think that's one of my favorite things about her now finally we obviously have April and I think one of my favorite things about her is just how curious she is she honestly just always has to have her part in everything you're doing if you're poo picking she has to be in the wheelbarrow sniffing the wheelbarrow picking up the poo picker if you're leading her out she has to be able to look at everything eat the lead rope which is actually really annoying but still curious <laughs> she likes to drag her nose along the floor so she can smell every different smell there is she likes to go and look at things she likes to try and eat the chairs she likes to try and walk into places that she shouldn't walk into like the tea room she she's just so curious she wants to know everything when we have when i took her out for her first walk the other day she took it all in her stride and i think it was because we were doing something different where she could be curious in her own little way and she just really enjoyed it 
Okay, so question number two is how long have I been riding for? I've been riding since I was about four or five, which roughly equates to 14 years. Okay, so question number three is what are my future plans with April? Now this one for me is really hard to answer because I don't know much about like her breeding or who her dad is. I know he is a little bit younger than Anushka and I know he's probably around 15 too. Because of that, I don't know how big she'll make. I'm hoping she'll be my next competition horse, but we really just have to wait and see. I'm gonna give her at least four years to grow before we even decide to sit on her because there's no point in doing anything too early when I've got other horses to do. So finally, we're gonna go and take Anushka for a walk, but I'm gonna let you enjoy that one without me blabbering on anymore. So it's a bye from me and a huge thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, it'd mean the absolute world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe, but ready for my next video. I really hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again next time. Bye.